Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jairo and today we are going to take you for a day in life. A Saturday that we are going to drive around a little bit on the island, do some activities and show you around a typical day for us on Aruba. We start our day with a brief but interesting visit to the STR Agriculture Farmers Market situated on the road heading to the Alto Vista Chapel. It is open every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and offers several locally grown organic products. Due to the loud music at this location, we could not really vlog and talk about our experience here, but we did find it very interesting. For the coffee lovers like us, they had two options. The first one being the Kanuku Coffee Roasters, which offers several interesting types of coffee from around the world and they even offered free tasting. There were also many other types of drinks as well as locally made products. Apart from the coffee, we also decided to go for a kimchi cake to give it a try. The second coffee stop was at the Pickup Coffee who happens to be subscribers of our channel. Make sure to support them at this market. So after that interesting market, we are now in Oranje Stad to check out a few stores and among other things, we have to buy some shoes. So we're gonna take a look for that one first. I'm a fan of Skechers, but I was looking for a particular style and wasn't sure if these were the ones that I was gonna go for. So I wasn't very lucky with getting a shoe for myself. So right now we are in the actual main street and we are going to drink coffee and the tram is leaving in a bit. Next stop, to get the Shetty stop, banana Shetty. To get the banana, our next follow is the Shetty stop, banana Shetty. So this is where we are going to get some coffee at the Dushi Delicious Aruba, one of our favorite spots on the island. So unfortunately they didn't have a spot for us on the inside, but so you can dine also on the outside, basically on the side of the main street. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. And uh, 
I have some coffee, something small to drink, and probably also something to eat. My chocolate almond croissant. And you, Dushi? I have no idea. You have no idea? No. You've forgotten the name. Yeah. And I got a simple croissant with ham and cheese. So right now we're here. Checking if we can go on the tram. And it's the first time for Seppi to ride on the tram. Now we're gonna take our look to another shoe store. Hopefully we will find something here. So this one looks like the colors of the flag of Aruba. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We are now walking to the fourth South Mount in Willem de Derde Tore to see if they are open today. There is a cru cruise ship in port and hopefully they are. I do believe I see the doors open so hopefully we'll be able to get and check it out so we are going to go up and believe it or not i have never been up here and the stairs are not for everybody but it's pretty interesting to to have the chance to come up here for the first time ever. This is like the first room. And I think it's like four stories or so, I think. Yeah. And Marlene is also going up with us, and so is Seppi and Yudin. <laughs> and now we are taking a look to the sound towards the renaissance while Seppi was checking out looking to the west checking out the cruise ship and parliament building office of the government etc santos down there so we've come now to where i think but i'm not sure used to be the clock so marlene is getting up. We got some local cultural uh, influencers, you could say. And let's go for the last part, which we'll get on the outside. <laughs> so this is the uh, clock, the bell actually that I was talking about. And very nice view, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's really worth it. It's really, really worth it. So we take a look on this side. We have like the Protestant church to your left. And this street leads to the city hall, the green building, and leads to the main street as well, the water tower. And wow, look at how colorful the city looks from up here. Imagine, imagine myself having the first time of this view and actually like the video probably doesn't do it justice. We also got a view of the Aida Perla this morning. I will include it in the video and we can see an airplane also. 
maybe we should go plane spotting in a bit. So we were all the way up there and here on the back side of the fort you got the kitchen back here, what used to be the kitchen. Cucina di Titi, so Titi's kitchen. And here the rest of the exhibition on the inside. Of course there's the Bombini Festival every Tuesday night. We are going to take a quick look on the inside and uh, the Bombini Festival is usually held back here. So there's a bar, they'll put some seats back here. got all sorts of artifacts that are given to the museum by local families so every time you come back and maybe there's there are a few new things I remember my family used to have like these type of sewing machine maybe not this exact one but so cool to see them again Marlin is showing how our ancestors used to prepare food, especially the corn, I do believe. And last but not least, we're showing back here parts of the wall, the inside wall, where it was made of all sorts of corals, probably taken from nearby areas. So we came to the Surfside Beach to do some plane spotting, but unfortunately, as you can see in the app, the planes are still quite far away. So uh, we're just going to move on, but this is where we often like to plane spot and usually the airplanes would be coming from here more or less. And you'll have a very nice chance to see the landing. There is one departing though. Ah, it looks pretty nice, by the way. It's a private jet. This one is a cheesecake. Yeah. And is it good? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so since there are no arriving aircraft, uh, we chose this cake place. First time we are here at the Roots Cakes next to the runway, airport's runway. And the place surprised, surprised us. Uh, it looks really good, really nice inside the cakes look really tasty. I'm gonna have my first bite. Mm. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> we are now at the North Shore where we love to come and check out the crashing waves and maybe we'll clean up a little bit part of the beach by taking some stuff back home. Who knows what we'll find today. And just a beautiful, beautiful area. We are near the Happy Trail, which is back there. 
So, in case you are at the Bushiribana, you can come over to this beach. And we've put one of the stones right here. And if you can find it, it's like an Easter egg that we put here for you guys. Come and check it out. We are next to the cave pool. And I'm gonna fly the drone around a little bit. So right now this beach is, looks really, really nice, but sometimes uh, there's some trash that uh, winds up on the north coast. But oftentimes these beaches do get cleaned up or at least a lot of effort is put on cleaning them up, but it's not an easy task. And lately we've been trying to do our part to, you know, help with the cause a little bit. I think if everybody helps a little bit, it will be okay. The water looks great, even though it's a quite of a cloudy day today. And an unusual weather for Aruba on this day. But for us as locals, we love it because we get a break from the heat. For you, maybe visiting the island, it's not the best one. So after picking up some trash at the north coast, uh, we have come here at home and we are going to make a few things out of them. And these are some of the examples of stuff that Marlin has, has made, uh, among other, the Juku, which is the lucky stone or lucky nut. She's got some keychains made out of it. And also these beautiful postcards made with salty wood and in the case of all of these things she's made some beautiful very unique turtles and she's also designing these now which are pretty cool and i like this one that she's made like a family out of that and you can buy all of this stuff either online at let's go with hydro or you can also visit us as at the Santos Market. That's every Tuesday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can find and meet us there and check out all of the items and a lot of other stuff. And we've even found some sea glass on the North Shore and especially that lower light blue one. <laughs> very, very special. What is this? Um, a piece of wood in the shape of a heart? Yeah. Yeah, we found it yesterday. It's really beautiful. And with the glass, I'm trying to make something new. So. <laughs> Thank you for hanging around till the end of this video. We hope you liked it as much as we did making it. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. This week I had my first orders. I love to be creative with the trash we find on the beaches and in this way help the island of Aruba. If you have questions or ideas for new videos, we would love to hear from you in the comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.